Hi guys, <clears throat> how are you? Uh, this time for another review. Uh, this time I'm gonna review Walking Dead, uh, the game. I don't know why I didn't review this sooner because I, this is one of the best game of 2012. Uh. It could be the best game of 2012 on the iPhone. Uh, it is by Telltale Games, I think. Uh, it is an amazing game. It's just been released on PS3, but it originally came out <coughs> on the iOS. Uh, it is a it is a must have. Seriously, um, uh, the game, the genre is uh, and it is an adventure game. It is uh, like a click click and point game, but because it was made on the iOS, I think you can uh, move the character by swiping on the, on the on the on the iPhone screen on the iPad screen it is it is better play on the iPad I think because it's iPad bigger screen it is such a wonderful game uh, let me start by giving you the background of the game uh, you play the game is not it is in the same universe as the Walking Dead uh, comics and Walking Dead TV series but it it occurs. Uh, it started uh, uh, around the same time, and uh, but <clears throat> it can stand on its own because it is such a, a, a good, good story. And this is what, uh, what it, it is. Uh, it, it, it's to me. It teach me that you can do good storytelling in any medium because it has a really, really good story. Um, uh, and it's you don't have to have fancy graphic or you know special effects and whatnot. You just have a good story, and it this has one of the best story and best satisfy, uh, satisfying uh, package of iOS game on twenty twelve. Very good, very good. Uh, the story starts. You play uh, as uh, Lee. His name is Lee. Uh, he's uh, he's a convicted. Murderer, but there was there is a a background story to Lee. Uh, he killed his wife because he he found out that his wife was having an affair, and the story starts him going to prison, and then you know it was a normal day going to the prison, and then the zombie apocalypse happened. So if you watch The Walking Dead and you're a fan of it, you know it is it that that kind of. Uh, um, uh, what, what do you call that? Uh, scenario. Uh, the game is what fantastic about the game is, even though it's a zombie genre. Um, the game really um, is about you making a right decision. It's like choose your own adventure where you have to, you know, choose the the right response uh, because the game will give you a lot. Uh, will give you a situation. And you have to respond to the situation by how you say things, how say, how you communicate things. You can lie, you can create, you can be honest and whatnot. So, and the game will respond as how you will respond. So that's is a brilliant AI. Um, people, uh, some people uh, go play this on trying to get the best response so they try to pretend oh if I were in this, in this position I will answer this and that and I think the developer is so good and then they're so brilliant they want you to answer as yourself what would you do uh, you don't have to scheme to get the best response just answer as how would you and how would you do things uh, in a particular situation and I, I find it very surprising because I've been playing this again. I've been playing this a lot of time. I've been replaying it and the answers is always different. And I think the best way to approach this game is to answer as how you would respond. You know, how your because of your background or what, your mindset. Answer as you are. Because there's no right and wrong thing. If it's wrong, then you learn something about yourself. This is the best. This is what... What's so good about uh, Walking Dead? It fa it forces you, as you are playing this game, it presents you with yourself, how, who you are. This is the type of person that who this 
Aswad is or something like that. This is the person that I am. You know, the game give that put a mirror in front of you, and then you know you see how how it affects the uh, the game. You know, you don't have to scheme because after the game come with a uh, five episodes. I mean, over the years, I think over the uh, over twenty twelve, they came out with every uh, every two months they keep come out with one episodes. And then until you got five episodes, I think to the end. And as you play along, I mean, some people can play, you can trick on the uh, first couple of first couple of chapters, but after that, the response is they give it when you when they ask you for a res- to answer some things, the response time is a bit longer. Like they give you a, 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 a sort of a ball, it will squeeze down to small, so it, it shows the time that you have. To answer, but as you play the game, that time is faster. It goes down faster. Trump, Trump. So you can't think, you can't overthink, you can't uh, scheme. Is the best way to approach this is to be answer as you are. So it's brilliant, and um, uh, and then you learn about yourself. You learn about who you are as a person, and that's very hard for a game to do. But that, as if, as a storyteller, uh, if you can get that to the audience, move the audience to feel something, to think about something uh, more about humanity or about important subjects, then yeah, that's amazing. I mean, this this game should win awards because it makes the audience think and and consider uh, about. Matters like humanity. What does it mean to be a human? What does it mean to be honest? What does it mean to be sincere? And it might, you know, we we overthink things nowadays. We are we go to schools and uh, we actually there are books how to respond to certain people, how to how to portray a certain image and stuff like that. It's called, you know, it's the age of branding. And um, but and then along the way, we will lose uh, our identity, our real self. Uh, who we are as a person, or we don't develop that at all. We just uh, half file or memorize all the best response, and we give the best the best response just to satisfy other people, not to convey the truth, not to to be honest with yourself or to be sincere, but how to get the best result. I mean, for some people, say yeah, yeah, yeah. result is everything. Uh, the end, the end, justify the means kind of thing. Uh, I don't agree with that. And this game is is that is about the end is not important. Brilliant. Though. The end is not important. The game is how you go through it. Uh the 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 process. The process is important. So yeah, that's really different, isn't it? So there's not enough a lot of game about this and I'm I, I want to say kudos to Telltale Games for coming out with such uh, a good humanistic game even though it's, it, it takes place in a zombie apocalypse situation uh, it's such a good game uh, the previous game they came out with uh, I think was uh, uh, something connected with Jurassic Park Jurassic Park <coughs> which uh, didn't which was didn't 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 caught on I also didn't like like that uh, adventure so much but and I really didn't like I didn't, really didn't like it at all because the control was so hard you have to make quick times uh, decision on the screen about more action oriented than emotional orient emotional decisions uh, so this game has more focus on your emotional reaction emotional decisions and emotional uh, communication stuff like that. It really asks you to be, to get in touch with your emotions and stuff like that. The ending is fantastic. Um, uh, it's really, 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 really rare to find a, a good game with a good story. So I know uh, this review has been going quite a bit, but it's it's such a good game. I mean, I, if I didn't, if I didn't uh, promote this, I think it w- it would be an injustice. To anybody who can appreciate a good story or a good game, 
It has beautiful graphic. It's very, it's very. The graphic is very simple. It's like very cartoony, like. But the acting and the storyline is amazing. You you will fall in love with the storyline. Seriously, if you have if you hardcore horror, you will like the the horror bit. It's not gory, but it's just so good. It's so good. All right, have a look at it. Uh, for me, it's, it's, it is the best game of 2012 uh, on the iOS. It just been released on the PS3. I've seen the disc. Um, I, it's always good uh, to promote a good game. It deserves to be the best game of 2012. Alright, thank you.